everybody, Jaws Jr. here for another adventure. It is the month of November and we're going camping. Uh, I think it's camping. I know we're going to go do a, some fun stuff, but no, my, my job is sending me to the southern Oregon coast. They're sending me down to the town of Brookings to do some work, but we decided that we're going to stay near Bandon, Oregon and stay at the state park there. So let me take you around here and uh, for those who's not familiar with what we have for a setup, let me show you what we have. Here we go, here is our setup. We have a 2002 Chevy Tahoe with 5.3 liter, four speed. Then we have a 1999 Terry Travel Light Northwest Edition. Weight, dry weight, 4,500 pounds. The lotus, the heaviest this thing has ever seen has been 5,700 pounds. So we try to keep this thing as light as possible because we are using just a half ton. Now, here's something else that's going on here at Jaws Junior Entertainment World Headquarters. As you can see in the background, there is a building. Spoiler alert! I'm still in the process of, of working up the videos from the construction of that and this is being inserted in the middle of those videos. So yes, there is the world headquarters of Jaws Junior Entertainment, also known as The Shop. So what I'm going to do with this uh, video is I'm going to take you guys along with this just to kind of show you what it's like to be camping in November. Now granted, we are in the Great Pacific Northwest, the state of Oregon. And so, for those of you that are in the upper Midwest or Northeast, and actually right now even Texas is having snow, I'm sorry, I sure hate it for you. I don't see any snow around here, and we're not going to have any. Current temperature, 48 degrees. Overcast, no wind. <laughs> Not too bad for November for us. So hang on for the ride. We're going to show you around some of the places that we go on this camping trip.
at the Lower Lake Creek Falls. It's a BLM spot. This is a day use area, so there's no camping, but we're only here for an hour. And we decided to stop here and have some homemade turkey sandwiches and let the Simon out. You know how important it is to let the Simon out. So as you can tell behind us, we're out of sitting here at a beautiful spot. And this is just a parking area for the uh, Lower Lake Creek Falls area. And it's a recreational area for by the BLM. So let me walk across the street here. And I'm not going to walk down to where the falls are at, but here's the creek for it. Beautiful spot, and even the camping, the, the, not the camping, that's where my brain is at, even the parking area for this spot here is just really nice looking. Not much in the way of amenities, it's winter time, of course we're camping in November, so uh, the vault toilets are locked and closed, and they're kind of uh, dirty on the outside right now, which is unfortunate. But this is what we have here. Just look how beautiful that is. So, we are jumping back in and we're going to head off and continue on to Bandon, Oregon. And I'll show you a couple of, well, a couple more uh, dash cam clips. So, but the next time I'll talk to you, we'll be in Bandon. Well, everybody, next, last time I talked to you, I said I was going to be here. I was going to be in Bandon, but I had to slow down and show you this. Jim, you know who you are. You love these. Wigwams. Old wood burners. Sorry for being underneath the cover here. Uh, the wind's blowing really good, so I wanted you to be able to hear me. But we are at Bandon, Oregon, down here at the jetty. So uh, I'm going to take you guys and walk you around a little bit and show you what it looks like here. Well, I found a spot outside of the wind, but I'm going to give you guys a treat. You see how low the sun is right now. I'm going to put a sunset video in here. And isn't this every RVer's dream to be able to sit and have a sunset? It's just incredible. So sit back, enjoy the sunset, 
here from Bandon, Oregon. Okay, everybody, that was a beautiful sunset. So, stay tuned. We've got the rest of this camping ship coming on. But I do have to note, anybody who has an RV, this is a perfect scenario. Being able to come up, park it at the beach, watch the sunset. Now we're off to the state campground, and I'll show that to you next. Hey, everybody. Well, today is the next day after that incredible sunset. And here is our setup. We are at Bullard's Beach State Park, north of Bandon, Oregon. And look at this. It is in November. For those of you in the upper Midwest, northeast, and even as far down as Texas, this is us. as I said earlier, I sure hate it for you guys. This is why we come here. Because for us, camping is a seven, not seven, 12 month a year, an all year activity. Next week, it's gonna be off for the Thanksgiving weekend to North Central Oregon. Yes, it's gonna be colder there, but that's okay. We can make it. So this is our setup, our campground, and if my battery dies here on this, on this camera, I'll switch over to something else. I'm going to show it to you. So we do have an older setup, but you know, it works. No dead on it on anything so that way there we can just jump in it put gas in the gas hog here and run and we actually love what we have set up here We're, we don't use this as a <clears throat> place to hang out in all day uh, it's a stomping it's a staging point we have so many other things that we go do when we're gone doing these camping things that we're going to take off here within the hour, and we won't be back until close to dark. So, that's why you don't see a bunch of stuff sitting out here. But it works good for us. We camp light, we pack light, we don't take a bunch of things with us. We have a couple of chairs here. We have the Simon's cage. And, uh... That's it. We have a few things in the back of the Tahoe and a couple other things inside that we can take out if we need to. And during the summertime we'll have a couple more things. We'll make sure our grill and stuff is out and stuff like that. But other than that, we don't bring much with us. There's no need to. That's just takes more time to set up and more time to pack up. And I don't like wasting time setting up and packing up. It took us 10 minutes from the time I pulled up to the spot to back in to the time it was leveled, plugged in, and ready to go. It took us 10 minutes and we were living. 
We're here to have fun. I am not here to be a slave to this travel trailer. So, but yeah, this is our back, the backyard, so to speak. Quiet, secluded. Got neighbors over there. And here in a few minutes, we are going to take off on the next adventure for today in this beautiful, beautiful weather in November on the Pacific Coast. <laughs> Gotta love it. Hey everybody, we are out here on the beach north of Bandon, Oregon at a place called Whiskey Run. Once, one neat thing about this place is you can drive out on it. So you saw that we had the travel trailer left at the state park and I told you we go out and do adventures well this is part of it this is what makes life fun you come out here and enjoy the day out here on the beach and again I cannot believe we are here in November, 10 o'clock in the morning, 55 degrees, slight northerly breeze, just beautiful. So we are paying, not paying, we are just having a wonderful time. everybody this camping adventure in November is done we're hooked up we're ready to go yeah it was a uh, quite a fun time yeah a little bit more cloudy overcast but that's expected for us usually we have some pretty good weather than the day we head out it is pretty nasty it's not even nasty it's not even cold just a little foggy and overcast so time here at Bullard's Beach State Park north of Bandon was incredible we had we had a great time and uh, so for now just remember everyone's life is an adventure then there's mine this is the adventures of Jaws Jr. have a good one everybody see ya